Hi, I'm Jason, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to convert a Microsoft Word document to HTML into Moodle whilst retaining all of the formatting. So the first thing we need to do is open up our document, and for this demonstration I'm going to show you a document here, which is written in Word. And I'm using uh, Microsoft Office 2013. So as we can see, we have certain formatting, certain colors here. We have some graphics. We have things like notes, where we have things in yellow boxes, etc. So I need to convert all of this to HTML and to successfully show up like this in Moodle, or as similar as I can make it. So the first thing I need to do is copy my pictures. The reason I copy the pictures is because I put them into an area in my hosting site whereas Moodle can call upon uh, the graphics from a web area as opposed to importing them in via the MySQL database. Um, believe me, I've tried this in the past and if I associate Moodle uh, pointing to pictures elsewhere other than a, a web area then the page takes longer to load. So what I do is I right click and we save picture. So let's just put it on our desktop for now. And as I'm making this document, Invenio Motion 3 Content Handler Process Testing and Publishing document, let's just give it a name. We'll call it IM for Invenio Motion 3. And it's going to be my first image, so let's just call it number 1, IM31. So I'll save that to my desktop. And we'll do the same with this graphic. IM32. And notice they've been saved as PNGs, that's fine. They don't have to be PNGs, they can be JPEGs, whatever. So now I've got those saved, I can just delete those pictures. Uh, this note one I'm not going to copy right now because I've already got the picture in my hosting area because it's part of the way that we lay manuals out. We have notes, we have tips, we have uh, theories, etc, etc. I'm just going to ignore that for now and just delete it. So, um, all I need now is the code uh, to convert this to HTML. But first, we've got a heading here. So, the next thing to do is to go into the header. And I'm going to remove the header because I don't want that code being transferred across. It's code that we don't need. Okay, so now we need to file save as and we'll save this on the desktop and we'll save this as a web page .html. we'll leave it as uh, whatever it's called there and we'll just hit save it tells me that um, border stars will appear as single line borders etc etc I, I don't care I'm just gonna say continue so this is pretty much how it looks now um, so the next thing I do is I normally go up here where I've got my markers laid out here and let's say, I don't know, 26. Okay, I'm happy for things to go as far as this line. So let's click in this yellow box area. And I'm just going to drag this slider back to about there. And if I wanted to keep everything to a certain line, maybe that might overstep. So I would press enter and move that down to the next line. So there we have how I expect it to look uh, on my page. So I'm going to save that and quit. And on the desktop here, we should have a file called Invenio Motion 3. And it's a HTML page. So I'm going to open this with Notepad++. And we can see here that we have all the HTML code generated. So I could Control and A to select it all. Right click and copy. And we'll close that down. So the next thing we need to do is open up Moodle. So let's go to our Moodle website. And log in. So the place that we put our documents, our HTML documents, are going to be on our classroom course categories. 
and if we look in here we've got all the different things D series ADC Invenio etc if I go to Invenio because it's an Invenio document we should have something called uh, supplemental resource so I'm going to go in here I'm going to turn editing on and I'll scroll down here and we're going to add and what we're going to add is a page so I'll click add now because we've got HTML let's click the HTML button and paste in our code and we'll say update we'll give it a name test one and a description test one uh, whatever and I could save and return but I've got a lot of work ahead of me uh, in order to get this to look in the right way so I'm going to go back I'm going to go into full screen here and notice everything's gone black all the text has gone black so let's say I don't know our heading we don't want the heading to show any numbers or anything like that <clears throat> But our subheadings we do, so let's just remove this extra code that we don't need here. And remember, we need to make this look as if uh, it's the same as the original. So we're going to select our text color up here. I'm going to say more colors. And we need to set the hex code for the color here. And I think it's 355F91. Let's apply that. That looks about right. Actually, let me try the other one. Let me just change the color of that, which is a lighter blue, uh, which I believe is 4F81BD. Yeah, that looks about right. So we need to change those, uh, those colors. We also need to make sure that we indent uh, our text. So I'm going to move over three times there. And three times there. And three times there. Depending on the document, whether you've got headings, subheadings, sub subheadings, etc., depends how many uh, positions that you you move, uh, you indent your uh, text across or your headings across so you'll really need to have to play with that yourself um, but always good to have the original document open next to this uh, to refer to but I've done this loads of times before so I already know so here we have our uh, text done so the next thing was here we had something like a note if you remember and we can't really use this because uh, I'll show you why if I save and return we scroll down to the bottom here and if I go into test uh, we can see everything looks okay but um, the minute I put a graphic there everything's going to go wrong unfortunately so the way around it is we go back in open it up to full screen uh, I'm going to come down here somewhere underneath this text box and I'm going to open up uh, a table and we want two columns and one row and here we can see uh, we've got our two columns there so I'm going to copy this text and that's right I've forgotten I've disabled uh, copy paste etc so um, control C and in the second box in our table control V and another strange thing that Moodle does is for some reason it puts the text into a smaller font size so we highlight all of it and we change the font size to 12 to match with the rest of it actually let's click in the first box there now what you'll need to do is open up your FTP to your hosting and 
what you need to do is navigate to your um, website and in this case uh, I have a folder in here called headings labels images etc and I have document graphics we've got icons we've got Invenio, Nexio everything that's in the body of this belongs to D series um, but any anything that I would place as far as graphics are concerned for Invenio would go in this folder but let's go back to icons and down here somewhere I've got one called note there it is note.png so basically what you need to do is highlight where this lives so all the way up to here I'm going to copy and we're going to insert a picture and we're going to say http colon slash slash and then control V and that will give us where the location of our note.png icon is so let's just type here note.png we'll give it a, an image description which is note <coughs> and we'll say insert and there we can see the note appear so also uh, let's highlight this area and bump that across and now the next thing we need to do is make this uh, obviously a yellow background or a yellow box so we're going to right click here and we're going to select cell table cell properties we're going to go to advanced we're going to select the border color of that cell we're going to make it black and apply and we're also going to look at the background color and that's going to be a named color and that named color is orange and we'll update that so as we can see now we're getting pretty much what we had before on our original document okay well that now leaves our graphics so let me just close this down or minimize it for a second I'm going to go up one level uh, and into my Invenio folder and if you remember before on my desktop I added two new let's just refresh that I added two new uh, graphics uh, one was called IM3 there it is IM31 and I thought I had an IM32 somewhere oh well anyway you'll get the gist uh, let's transfer that one over So that's now in the uh, web hosting area. Let's go back to our Moodle and let's say, I don't know, I can't remember now, but um, maybe the graphic was directly underneath this or it might have been to the left of this text. If it was to the left of this text, for example, well, actually, let's have a look. Let's have a look at our Invenio Motion 3 document yes yeah, so it was to the left of that text so let's close that go back into Moodle and again uh, maybe what we should do then is have another one of these tables and Let's copy that, paste it in there, change the font size to 12, and now what we need to do is enter our graphic. So let's go back to our FTP and we'll copy the uh, location, the web location of uh, where the graphic is going to be. So let's enter a graphic, HTTP, paste in uh, im31.png, just call it image for now. Now we're not going to see this graphic uh, in this demonstration because the domain uh, does not reside within my hosting area. 
uh, for this uh, Moodle website. It used to, but it, it doesn't anymore. So the graphic is not going to show up in this demonstration. But when you come to do it on this particular domain, you will find that it will appear in this box here. So you simply insert. As we can see, we got a broken graphic there, but yours won't look broken. Um, so then the next thing to do is move it across and to keep everything I mean this graphic would normally take up this amount of space here for example uh, and then what you would do is go by your your judgment of where your uh, maximum line is and maybe drop that down so this would be further over to the right all the text would be further over to the right and your graphic would take up this amount of space and you would do the same uh, for the next graphic but in this demonstration we'll just leave it as it is come back out save and return so when you open your document it will uh, start to look as uh, just as it was and sometimes you may find that it alters the actual text size in the main heading here and the way around that is obviously these are all the things that you'll you'll figure out as you go if you have to do this um, but I generally just set the font size to the largest make it bold so when I go in now oh and the other thing to do is uh, not to uh, to tell Moodle not to show uh, the description so let's go back in select appearance and we're gonna unchecked display page name and that's about it